In this video, we will configure a pulse generator in an existing TIA portal project. Firstly, we will configure a pulse generator in network 1 of the block. We start by providing the condition to trigger the pulse start, in this case a normally open contact. Now we will drag and drop a pulse generator or TP timer onto the network from the basic instructions catalog. Because the pulse generator is actually a standard function block, it will require an instance data block to operate. A call option pop-up allows you to name the data block and give it number manually or you can accept the system generated name and number. Click OK to accept the system generated name and number. At the PT input, we enter the time for the pulse duration in milliseconds. The ET output of the block displays the elapsed time as the timer runs. We will give this output a memory location so that it can be monitored later in the video. The output of the timer is the Q element. We will program a coil to use on the output of the pulse timer. At this point, the pulse timer has been configured in the program. We will now download the block to monitor the new pulse generator. And click the eyeglass icon to monitor the block. Upon actuation, Q goes high and the timer starts timing out as shown in the ET. The ET output shows the elapsed time since the timer was actuated. When the elapsed time equals the set point, Q goes low and the timer waits for the next rising edge from the trigger on in input. With the next rising edge on in, the process starts over. Note that the input at in does not have to be maintained for the pulse generator to continue the high output at Q. The timer continues until the elapsed time equals the set point. We have just successfully programmed a pulse generator in the project.